Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm going to modify a backing plate that was on my Logan lathe. Uh, the Logan lathe had a spindle size, a threaded spindle of an uh, inch and a half. And my South Bend has uh, kind of an oddball size, it's inch and five eighths. That's just barely enough uh, steel in there to cut the threads uh, adequately deep, but it will work. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, in fact, I've already done it. Uh, I shot the video and my video camera was set up wrong and it's in high speed and no audio. So uh, let me back up and show you what I did and then you can watch a really fairly short video. I think it's four minutes of what I did. But it's still worth watching. I think you'll uh, be surprised at the approach I take to uh, fix this problem. Okay, before you watch the high speed video with no audio, <clears throat> let me show you what I did. This chuck here was fitted to my Logan lathe. This backing plate was an uh, inch and a half, and I enlarged it to inch and five eighths. But the spindle length on my south bend is an eighth inch longer, and this is just under one inch. So basically, the threaded spindle was going to hang into this area right here, so I had to bore this out right here. And I think you'll be surprised at the method I used to bore that out. But anyway, uh, the video is self-explanatory. Uh, have fun watching it, and thanks for watching. Well, that about wraps it up. What do you think? I like it. Nice to have that good chuck back on my life. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, and be sure and subscribe, and ring that bell.